Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's uh, it's indeed a joy. It's a privilege for us as believers to follow the Lord and to study His Word uh, together. And as we've been studying this week, we are looking at um, uh, different ways by which um, uh, we can minister healing. Now, do you know that the Lord wants to heal His people through His people, through you and I? So, uh, uh, through ordinary believers, and He wants to move on our behalf and. He does so. He has laid out in scripture that when we lay hands on the sick, um, they will be healed. And he's talking about people who believe in his name. When believers move out and do this, uh, they will be healed. So one of the ways by which um, uh, people uh, uh, can be healed or be ministered to in healing is through the prayer of faith and a word of command. A prayer of faith and issuing a word of command. Uh, James chapter 5 verses 14 and 15 says this if anyone among you sick let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith will save the sick and the lord will raise him up if he has committed sins it will be he will be forgiven right so we see that um, this prayer of faith asking in faith believing uh, in faith is what will save the sick and the sins will be forgiven. So we are ex exhorted to do that as we, as we come together. So we can do that, reach out and pray. And the other thing is also the word of command. We see that the Lord Jesus commanded the condition. Many times he commanded the condition or the sickness. And also at times he con commanded the evil spirits which were causing that condition. Uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 39, he stood over her and rebuked the fever and it left her. Immediately she arose and served them. So this person who was down with fever, the Lord rebuked, we see the Lord rebuking the condition. So that's a lesson for us that we can use the authority that he has given us and uh, by the, in his name, uh, by the power of his precious blood, we can command that condition. Uh, we can command that uh, sickness, rebuke that sickness. Um, in, in this case, the Lord commanded the fever to leave. He rebuked the fever and it left her. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 16 says, When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. And he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. Lord cast out the spirits with a word, a command. He spoke something. He, he commanded those spirits to leave and he, uh, he did so. And then he saw the uh, scripture records for us that um, all, he healed all who were sick and the evil spirits came out. So, uh, so this is something for us to learn and something for us to apply that we can pray the prayer of faith at the same time, we can also rebuke or issue a word of command. Both are biblical, both are scriptural, both these methods are for each one of us. It's not just for someone in healing ministry, uh, it's, not, it's not just for someone who is serving full time, it's for everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus. So today, uh, if, you, if there's an opportunity, uh, pray for the sick and rebuke the condition, pray in faith and see the hand of the Lord uh, lift that person up. Father, we thank you that uh, even as we've studied, Lord, that we can pray in faith, pray uh, in believing and we can receive God. And at the same time, we can also, Lord, with the authority that you've given us, Lord, issue that word of command, whether it's um, uh, addressing uh, the spirits that are causing that condition or the condition itself, God. I pray, God, that we will, uh, uh, we will do that even as you give us opportunities to uh, do so. God, we thank you. Uh, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.